Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on hydrology and we're looking at river flow types. The difference between laminar flow and turbulent flow. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Water that flows through a river or stream is influenced by gravity, the topography, elevation and the physical environment. A river's physical environment can include the channel morphology, the discharge, the gradient, the riverbed geology, and the load which is being carried by the river. There are two main types of flow by the water in the river. There's laminar and turbulent, and in between that is a flow called transitional. The first type of flow dynamics for a river or stream is called laminar. This type of flow is smooth, is streamlined. The water molecules are moving in a parallel flow with the current downstream with or under the force of gravity. There is generally less mixing of the water molecules in terms of the water column as it flows down. This is dependent on the velocity and the discharge and the riverbed geomorphology and the smoothness and topography of that riverbed in terms of the erosional qualities or capabilities of that river in laminar flow is decreased. There's not as much erosion occurring, so therefore the sediment load, the material that the river's carrying, would be reduced in this type of flow. And from this very basic generic diagram, you see there is a gradient on the riverbed. There is the parallel, streamlined, uniformed flow of water molecules with the current, and the water is more calm, more still as it flows downstream. When discussing fluid dynamics with liquids, there is not just two ends of the spectrum. There is a broad continuum between the first type lamina and the second type turbulent. And the in-between stage is called transitional flow, where there is a mixture or ratio of both lamina and turbulent, but different ratios, different mixtures between the two types of flow. The opposite flow type to laminar flow is turbulent flow. Turbulence denotes a irregular pattern of water molecules flowing downstream with gravity. It's more chaotic, it's more of a mixing situation or environment. The multiple particles are, are moving in different directions at different speeds, interacting with both the riverbed and the atmosphere and any obstructions in the river, plus the difference in gradient and velocity and discharge and the topography of the riverbed in regards to the geology and the unevenness and the ability to disrupt and cause various levels of friction to change the speed and direction and that causes this very chaotic turbulent flow of the river as it moves downstream which also can be attributed to features like rapids and can cause increased amount of erosion leading to increased volume of sediment load within the river itself in terms of suspended load dissolved load and bed load the turbulent flow diagram just showed paralleled calm arrows showing the water molecules path downstream. With turbulent flow, it is quite the opposite. You have multi-directional, multi-velocity water molecule pathways creating this chaotic flow of water downstream, interacting with both the boundary layers, different riverbeds, obstructions, and changes to the depth of the river consequenting in features like potholes and rapids and maybe even the formation of waterfalls. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.